Hello guys, Adam here from Not Toys Action Figures bringing you another Power Rangers Lightning Collection action figure review and this time we have the big bad or I would say the modern big bad of the Power Rangers, Lord Draken and here he is in his box, in the old versions of the box and yeah this is a very hard figure to get a hold of or it was for a long time and then they did a re-release and now it seems to be a little bit easier to get hold of him and uh, I managed to pick him up as a re-release and as you can see he looks nice alongside my white ranger tommy this is the very first lightning collection figure i ever got before i really i think it actually was when it first came out i got it like 2020 2019 i think and then another quite difficult figure to get a hold of nowadays is the green ranger can't wait for the remastered one to get that come out so we can compare those but today's video is about lord draken so let's get him out of the box Okay, he here he is, and you might have noticed I have a new turntable. Sorry if it's a little bit loud. It was it said it was a quiet one, but it's not very quiet. And you can see here a nice uh, kind of 360 view of him. Obviously, that's why I put him on the turntable because this figure looks absolutely amazing. You can see there the perfect mix between uh, the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, and then we have Draken in the middle, kind of this dragon, tiger, evil lord, the cool shield there, using the dragger uh, dagger. Uh, the dragon, dragon, dagger, or whatever it's called, the flute that uh, Tommy has here. And you can kind of see a lot of, uh, I guess, obviously there are um, similarities between the two. We have the same holster on the belt there for the dragon, dagger. Uh, a lot of the, the shields look very similar, but it's really cool how like they kind of created this character as, as someone who's meant to be a mix of both of these two there. And uh, yeah, he just looks great like the the gold on the white we know works we know green on gold works and just putting it all together just looks big fantastic and the reason that I've, i decided to open up draken is because i've been reading a lot of the uh, omega ranger comics where draken plays like a big part in that so i'm really happy to get him out of his box let's put him in another pose okay and here we are with the alternative tommy head on which is really nice obviously it's like a, an older kind of meaner looking Tommy head but it looks very cool you can see there just on the side of his face if I maybe get a bit more light on it for you you can see the scar in there which looks really really nice and just gives him that mean evil doer look and as we zoom out and get a bit more focus you can see he is looking down on the two defeated rangers bending the knee to the, the mighty Lord Draken Let's get him in another pose. And here he is back on the stand there with both of his signature weapons. Very cool looking figure. Again, just that gold and and green and white detailing looks great. Um, for the articulation, I'm not going to go through it, but um, he, yeah, he has everything that all of the other Rangers have. So if you want to check out his articulation, you can just have a look at any of the other Lightning Collection figures that I have on the channel. You can see there he still has the pin, so it's on the old body. Um, but no, it's just a great looking figure. Like it's exactly what you kind of want from this kind of figure. Just the colors stand out. He looks cool. It's a cool design. Uh, very interesting character and and like cool, really unique kind of idea for the for the Power Rangers. And yeah, like I said, I'm reading the Omega comics right now and uh, really enjoying Draken's part. It's not this Draken. It's a different Draken, I think, or Draken later on in the timeline. Uh, where he's been already defeated by the Power Rangers. But yeah, those comics are really good, and I really hope that we get this announcement that the Omega Rangers box set is coming out soon. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is maybe take him outside, get some shots of him outside in some natural light, and then we'll end the episode. Okay, and here he is in all of his glory. You can see here the accessories he comes with. He comes with the the hair, an extra pair of fists, and the blast effect, which I'm pretty oops, which I'm pretty sure we got with the White Ranger when that first released, and I think we've had it a couple of times since then. But yeah, just again, just for you looking over the detail, let me put a bit of light on it. Very awesome figure. Um, yeah, very glad I opened him up. Maybe next I'll open up the Ranger Slayer uh, figure because I have her too, and. Uh, I'm excited to see how she is because she has, I think she actually has some cloth gloves. 
goods, which isn't that common for uh, the Lightning Collection series. But yeah, guys, um, let me know what you thought of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Let me know if you've been reading the Omega comics and if you're looking forward to the release too. Um, and if you want to see more Lightning Collection content, make sure you subscribe. We are trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of this year, which I don't know if we're going to hit. But um, yeah, I'm trying my best to do it. Uh, so yeah, if you do like the content, make sure you subscribe. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.